remember the turban I made some time ago. Today I will show you how to make a different version. To find the right length you have to measure your head circumference and divide it by 2. Then multiply the result by 3 and add 4 cm extra. Rotate the racking handle to its lowest position and make sure the beds are centered. Raise 20 needles on the front bed, 10 to the left and 10 to the right side of zero. You can make the strip wider by raising more needles, in my case the strip is 10 cm wide. Raise 20 needles on the back bed and place the edge springs on the last working needles. You can see up close. Set both locks to N and the stitch size to 3. Insert the orange strippers and take the yarn. I will use 3 strands of acrylic yarn. Knit the zigzag row. Set both locks to CX and increase the stitch size to 4. Now knit 2 rows. Set both locks to N and increase the stitch size to 5. Knit one row to finish the cast on. Clear the row counter, set the front lock to AX and press the left arrow key. Rotate the racking handle anti-clockwise to its upper position. Use the double eye botkin tool and transfer the stitches as shown in the diagram. On the front bed the needles must be arranged in 2x2 two two division and all the needles must be in working position on the back bed. Leave me a comment while I'm transferring the stitches, I love to hear from you. When you transfer the stitches, close the latches and place the edge springs on the last working needles. Make sure to put all empty needles out of working position. Now rotate the racking handle clockwise to its lowest position. On the front bed raise pushers and the row working needles then put the left pusher of each group in resting position. Now knit two rows. Rotate the racking handle one full turn anti-clockwise and knit two rows. Rotate the racking handle one full turn clockwise and knit two rows. Now repeat the same steps until the strip becomes the desired length. You can roughly measure the strip by holding a measuring tape between the beds. The strip will touch the floor when it is about the right length. Set both locks to end and increase the stitch size to 7. Press the zero key to disengage the arrow key. Put all pushers out of working position. Now raise the needles on the front bed. You must have 20 needles in working position on the front and 20 needles in working position on the back bed. Knit one row and lower the front bed. Use the yellow tool and make a zigzag latch cast off. Both ends of the strip will look the same. Raise the front bed, move the edge springs and remove the knitted piece from the machine. It should look like this. First you have to fold the piece in half and mark the middle.
Now fold both ends of the strip as shown in the video. Turn the piece over and fold the ends again. Now you have to sew the turban as shown in the video. It should look like this. If you make an invisible seam, you may wear it on both sides. That is how it looks on the other side. Now I will put it on. Do you like it? Tell me in the comments below. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and see you in my next video.